Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about generating different molecular descriptors using Modred Descriptor Calculator. To know more about this, let me take you to the seminal publication of Modred. This article here with the title Modred, a molecular descriptor calculator was published in the year 2018 in Journal of Chemi Informatics. The primary author is Hirotomo Moriwaki from Osaka University, Japan. Modred is a highly versatile software for calculating more than 1800 two and three dimensional descriptors. Also, it is freely available via GitHub and it can easily be installed and used in command line interface, web application, as well as in the form of Python package on all major platforms like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. They claim that Modred is twice as fast as the well-known pedal descriptor and it can calculate descriptors for large molecules which cannot be accomplished by other software. Now let's just go back to the coding and let's see how we can use this software for calculating descriptors for our molecules. The first step is installing Modred and RD kit using these two commands. Let's just go ahead and run these. After successfully installing these packages, I am importing various modules from RDKit and Modred library. Next, I'm gonna be using alcohols dataset which contains smile strings of various alcohols. I'm using pandas to read this Excel file. Let's read this and see the first five molecules of this data set. So as you can see here, this data set has name as a column as well as smile strings of these molecules. If you want to get more information about this data set, you can use dot info command here and it will provide you more information. Now, as you can see here, this also says there are two columns and there are no missing values. Now for creating molecular descriptors, we need to create molecular graphs from these smile strings. So what I'm doing here is I'm generating an empty list here. Then I am running a for loop, which would iterate through each smile strings. The first command here, chem.mol from smiles would convert smiles into molecules without hydrogens. And this command here, chem.addHS would convert these molecules into hydrogens and I am appending this to the molecular list and in the end we will have a list of all these molecular graphs and finally we will convert these into data frames with the column name as mole and we will concatenate it to the original data set which contains names as well as smile strings so let's run this and see the output here so now you can see here we have a data set with name, smiles, as well as molecular objects of these molecules. Now, if you want to visualize these molecules, I'm using draw.moles to grid image command of RDKit, and I am grabbing the first eight molecules in the form of a grid. Let's run this and see the output. So now you can see here, we have uh, molecular graphs with hydrogens attached to them. Now the next step is creating different molecular descriptors using this Modred software. So before I do that, let me take you to the official documentation of Modred. This is the official web page of Modred. Uh, as you can see here, there are 1613 2D descriptors and 213 3D descriptors. In today's session, we will only be dealing with generating 1613 2D descriptors. I am going to be skipping this section as I have already showed you how you can install Modred library in Google Colab. I am taking you to this section here which would aid us in calculating molecular descriptors. Here you can see from Modred library we are importing calculator class and descriptors. And the important step is creating an instance of this class with descriptors as an argument. 
and this calc dot descriptor command would contain information about all the descriptors so let me go back to the notebook and see how we can utilize this library for calculating molecular descriptors now like i mentioned before we need to create an instance called calc for the class calculator with descriptors as an argument now this descriptor contains all the descriptor classes so let me just run these two commands here at this point it has created an object called calc so let's see how this calc looked like so you can see here this is an instance and to grab information on that we are going to be using this calc dot descriptor command calc dot descriptors would contain all the descriptor classes so let me run this and print the first five classes so as you can see here the descriptor classes in mod red would look something like that and uh, if you want to grab the names of all the descriptors what you can do here is you can run a list comprehension here which would print out the names of all the descriptors here so uh, i'm just printing the first 20 descriptors so let me run this and see the output so as you can see here the first 20 descriptors are displayed here now uh, if you want to see how many descriptors are there i am running a len command on all descriptors variable and see and you can see here that we have 1613 uh, 2d descriptors now there is an easy way to see the names of the descriptors as well as their classes so what you can do is you can go to the official documentation of modred and on this page here descriptor list you can find the information about all the descriptors so this is the module here and this is the name of all the descriptors this constructor here is required to generate these descriptors with the help of this module it also gives you a whether these descriptors are 2d or 3d and in the end a description of these descriptors have also been provided for example an acid gives you the count of acidic groups so you can go ahead and uh, visit this page if you are interested in knowing about these descriptors so let's just go back now we know the names of all these descriptors and uh, classes which would help us generate these descriptors so let's just go ahead and try to calculate these descriptors now at this point i am generating just one descriptor for a single molecule so what i'm gonna do here is that i am gonna grab a class here and create an instance of this so i'm, I'm interested in autocorrelation descriptor so what i have done is i have created an instance of this class and i'm calling this using the molecular object that i have just created so i'm randomly grabbing this 50 first molecule here so let's run this so 409 is the autocorrelation descriptor value for this molecule and if you want to visualize how this molecule looks like you can just copy and paste here and this is the molecule for which we calculated the autocorrelation descriptor and let's just go ahead and try to calculate this abci index descriptor for uh, our first molecule so abci index for uh, the very first molecule is 7.07 .07. and again if you want to visualize uh, this molecule just copy and paste so this is the first alcohol which uh, has abci index of 7.07 .07. now this was simple so let's just see if we can calculate descriptor values for large number of molecules and right now i'm just calculating a single descriptor so what i'm doing here is that creating an empty list and then i'm creating an instance or object of the class of the descriptor that i'm interested in so i'm interested in s log p and what you can just do here is that where we have calculated the classes you can just go and copy uh, this uh, descriptor class or a uh, simple thing that i showed you is you can just go to the official documentation and find the uh, descriptor that you're interested in so let's just go to s log p vsa1 so click on this
copy and paste this class here and create an instance of it. Uh, after that, I'm running a for loop which would iterate through each molecule in the data set and I'm gonna be appending this descriptor which would be calculated by calling this desk object using this mol attribute. In the end, we will be having a list of the descriptor values for all the molecules in our data set. Now, uh, let's just convert this list into a data frame. And again, don't forget to uh, put the name of the columns uh, for whatever descriptor you are calculating and append this to the smiles uh, strings of uh, the molecules. And uh, let's just run this and see the output. So now you can see here we have a data set containing smiles as well as log p values. Now uh, let's say if you are interested in two or more descriptors for the whole data set. Now again we are going to be creating an empty list. Here I am interested in calculating log p as well as hydrogen bond acceptors. So I am creating an instance of their classes. Now. There is one difference here while running a for loop, we are again creating an empty list. So what it will, it will do is at the end of first iteration, it will store two, web, two values for each descriptor. And again, in the end, uh, they, we will append this list to our empty list over here. So we are basically at the end of the loop generating a list within a list. And again, for uh, gener uh, visualizing this in the form of a data frame, we are going to be converting this list. To the data frame along with the column names here concatenating it to the smiles uh, column so let's run this and see how our final data set looks like now we have smile strings log p and hydrogen bond acceptors uh, as a descriptor for all the molecules next we want to see how we can calculate all the descriptors for a data frame it's very simple all you need is just one line of code here. So what it's doing is calling a pandas method on this calc object that we created in the very beginning. Now it will take argument as a data, data frame or series of molecules that we created in the beginning from smiles. So let's just go ahead and run this. So it has started running. You can see the progress here. It has finished running the code. Now let's just go ahead and see the data frame. As you can see here, we have a data set of all the descriptors and you can see here we have 1613 columns. So basically all these are descriptors. Now it's better if we have smile strings over here or names. So I, what I'm gonna do here is just concatenate the smiles column with this data set and let's run this and see the output. Now we have smile strings as well in this data set. Uh, you can just go ahead and save this as an Excel or CSV file. So let me just run this command here. So we have got our final Excel file which would contain this data set over here. This is it for now. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.